New at four, a community of RVs and campers is growing exponentially out of the Home Depot parking lot in Coventry. What started as just a handful quickly grew to 15, maybe even 20. And now those who were living there say they're unsure where they're going to go after they got an eviction notice from the company. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with those who called the parking lot home and joins us live now in studio with the latest. Matt. Well, for those I spoke with today, some had been moving around the Coventry Shopping Center for a year. Others a month claiming they'd never been bothered, but as the community grew, so did the attention they were drawing. I don't feel homeless, but now I do. <laughs> Misty McClendon and her husband recently sold their Cranston home after their children moved out. And we decided we we're going to downgrade. My husband's a disabled veteran, 20 years fleet reserve. Turning Misty she shed into their new home, paying off all of her husband's medical bills and setting up shop in the Coventry Home Depot parking lot. But with that came its challenges, like the actual move. You know, being a Navy wife, used to transitioning. Hey, we're going here. Hey, we have to move here. <laughs> Toilet paper under beds, pillows and like tub you have it rolls everywhere and it was up to my waist and my husband he can't walk through that he can't deal with that so he couldn't even be here after living out of their rv at the shopping center for the past month the mclendons woke up last week to eviction letters telling them they had until wednesday to leave and there's just not enough time but unfortunately situation this is not a public you know yeah i know and they aren't alone in here since last march it turned into a campground. Both McGlendon's and Louis Fansteel say as more people came, problems began. It was no problem at first, but like I said, there was three. Now there's 15. They were taking advantage of the situation. And again, at the end of the day, it's still a business. You can't bump out. You can't put chairs outside. You don't litter. They were leaving trash in Walmart carts just in the middle here, hanging up laundry outside. We reached out to Home Depot for a comment about the situation and a spokesperson from the company said, quote, we don't allow overnight parking in our parking lot. We're taking steps to make that clear and we'll work with local law enforcement to take appropriate action. The Rhode Island Housing Department tells me they are aware of the situation and have facilitated outreach to those that may need help. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.